Welcome to the Scoop School Podcast, where we tackle your conundrums about the retail ice cream and frozen dessert business. And now, here's your host, he's all about the butter pecan, the ice cream bloke and self-appointed headmaster of Scoop School, Steve Christensen. G'day ice cream lovers, thanks for tuning in to the podcast slash video cast. Nice to have you here. Hit subscribe, get all of this ice cream goodness in your inbox every single day. Before we jump into this process of high temperature short time or HTST pasteurization, I do want to thank our episode sponsor, which is iRice and Company, based out Pennsylvania way. Look, iRice have been the standard for many, many years so far as water ice products, non-dairy products. I'm telling you what, now they make a huge range of toppings, flavors, bases, extracts, some of the best caramel fudge topping I've ever eaten in my life. So have a talk to Rod Oranger out there. He's the guy that knows everything about iRice. Uh, Rod Oranger at iRice, and the website is iriceco.com, I-R-I-C-E-C-O.com. Thank you for your sponsorship. I wanna talk today about the second form of pasteurization, which is HTST, or high temperature short time. Now, another term that's used for HTST mix is called fresh mix. And the reason why they use that term is because it's not overly pasteurized. You've got um, a period of time so far as your use by date is concerned of about 20 to maybe 25 days from the date of manufacture. So when you're dealing with a dairy that has an HTST plant, uh, you'll be getting a mix that is basically cooked somewhere around the 180, 190 degree mark for a period of anywhere between five and 10 minutes. Again, all of these time and temperature relationships are very proprietary to your mix company and to the the manufacturers that make the mix. So talk to them about this process, but HTST, or high temperature short time, is a process that basically cooks bacteria out of the process or out of that uh, ingredient list, if you will, uh, for again, 180 degrees, three, five, 10 minutes maybe. And that time and temperature relationship basically creates the flavor profile of the mix, all of those raw ingredients, and it provides enough shelf life for you in order to uh, basically get your mix out to that 20, 25 day range. So the upsides of HTST is you get generally a clean mix because that's not very high in the temperature stakes but you kind of lose a little bit of time on your uh, use-by date. So again, talk to your mix manufacturer, ask him what process he uses. If they use HTST, it's important to understand what that is. HTST, high temperature, short time, or fresh mix. Tomorrow we're gonna talk about, or the next video, we're gonna talk about ultra high temperature, or UHT, and that will round out this little process we have talking about our pasteurization methods. Again, thank you to our episode sponsor. If you have any questions, quandaries, concerns about the ice cream business, drop us a line, steve at scoopschool.com. Interested in your comments, leave them in the thread down below. Keep on scooping, and we'll see you in the next video.